All right, so we're back one last time and we've changed out our key light now from our keynote flow to our bicolor LEDs. Now these are 3200 Kelvin or 5600 Kelvin daylight, depending on how we adjust the, uh, the dimmers on the, on the fixtures. And they're also dimmable zero to 100% output. So these are incredibly flexible. They're one by one panels with 600 LEDs a piece. And that makes them very uh, easy to rig. They're very lightweight. Uh, they're very fast to deploy, and I think the output uh, is very flattering. Let's go ahead and fire those up. Okay. Go ahead. Now, these are set to full tungsten output right now, so they should balance nicely with our backlight. Uh, but what we had to do is, because they were so bright, is we had to dial them back a little bit so we could still maintain our 4.5 f-stop to camera, which we have right now. But the nice thing about these fixtures is they look good raw with with clean leds go ahead and show us just what happens when we go add all of the daylight uh, leds to the output daylight go ahead you can see how we can we can cool down the fixture we also made them notably brighter go to 50 percent on your dials really quick this is about a 46 to 4800 kelvin look right now at a five six and a half third under eight uh, you can change to daylight very quickly from indoors on stage. If you got to grab a quick shot outside, or if you need to shoot outside, you can dial these into full daylight, dial all the tungsten out, and shoot outside as 5600 Kelvin. But well, let's go ahead and dial the daylight back out and put our dimmers back on. I think it was... 50% uh, on 32. Yep, that sounds about right. And then we're going to add the diffusion panels to these and show you how nicely these things will cream up. They get really nice looking very quickly with the uh, diffusion added. So here we are with the diffusion added, and you can see how they've added a nice patina to the output. I think this is very pretty. It looks excellent on Kayla. And we may have to dial them up just a little bit because we have the diffusion now. The diffusion knocked down the exposure output. By a full stop, so we have to dot, put our dimmers up all the way, all way, go to full, full, and now we're back at our, eh, it's a four, dial in a little bit of daylight. That gives us our four and a half right there. And we added uh, just a pinch of daylight to the fixtures, so overall now they're probably burning at about 3400, 3500 Kelvin. And if we slide them a little bit lamp right, we can get a nice half light look out of them, or we can get our Rembrandt look very quickly. That's very nice. Very easy to manipulate, very easy to move. The output looks very similar, I think, to the Kino Flow, but I think there's maybe a little bit less contrast in the one by one light panels. I'm, I'm not sure. I think the Kino is the most contrast so far, but I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. But uh, this is uh, what you can do now. You can change up. We went from hard incandescent key light. We added diffusion to the barn doors. We've added softbox modifiers to the lights to soften them up and lower the contrast. We've changed to uh, photocorrected fluorescence in the Kino Flow varieties. The 4x4 worked very nicely for this application. And now we're working with the bicolor LED 1x1 panel. So you get a lot of options out there for your lighting setups. And you'll notice that when you have a nice soft key like this, it's not always necessary to add that third point of, of dimension to your lighting setup. But if you want to soften your contrast, here's your third light. Your fill light is invariably a bounce board these days. We don't need an actual fixture anymore. Works very nicely in contrast to the light panels. And a little bit of separation from the background with our 1K deep in the background, and I think that, that does it. So that's it. That's our uh, conventional lighting demonstration, three-point lighting. I want to thank Kayla uh, for sitting in for us. Thank all the fellows behind camera, Jeremiah, Bob, Charlie, uh, everybody that came in uh, to lend a hand. I appreciate it. And uh, next, uh, next time we meet, we're going to go through uh, the same situation again, but we're going to show you what we do when we light for close-ups. Uh, so that's it. This is Los Angeles Film School. My name is Mike Walsh. Thanks for coming, and I will see you again soon.